Assalamu alaikum, hope you're all doing well, inshallah. Welcome back to Dean and Chai, casual space to talk about Dean over a cup of chai, coffee, any beverage you'd like. I've got a latte today and a pile of books. I've finally gotten around to doing a book review um, video, inshallah. I know it's been highly requested, um, but yeah, finally getting around to doing it. So I have a pile of books here, inshallah. I tried to pick some of the top ones, inshallah, and there are different topics, different styles, different categories to try to get a good mix of things depending on your interests, uh, inshallah. So let's get started. So the first one on the pile is the study Quran and some of these books I've shown randomly in other videos but I haven't talked in too much uh, detail about them but you might have seen this on other videos or mentioned on Instagram so this one the study Quran is basically a translation and commentary on the Quran and so this whole book covers the entire Quran. So it goes through surah by surah in order and it gives some extra information and tafsir and interpretation of those verses and backgrounds of those verses. And it combines different interpreters. So it's kind of a summarized version bringing together different um, interpreters and, and their interpretations of certain verses and so on and bringing it uh, together in kind of a summary format and an easy to digest uh, format. So I would say that this is a good option if you are looking to understand the Quran a bit better but also not go too deep into the technicalities and all the grammar in Arabic and so on. Like if you go into some other books that are more in depth and much larger volumes that would be a lot of detail and it might take a long time to get through it all and so if you're looking for something condensed easy to digest and doesn't go too into too much detail i would say that this is a good option and i'll link all of these down below so that you can take a look at them in more detail inshallah okay the next one is this the book of manners and this basically covers all kinds of manners. So the manners of reciting the Quran is the first chapter, for example, and it just, you know, talks about different things in terms of manners of recitation, like, for example, the permissibility of reciting Quran from memory for one who is in a minor state of impurity, and how you should not say, I forgot, when you're mentioning the Quran, like if you forgot something from memory, for example, you should say, I was made to forget. And things like that, just little slight manners of different things. That's for example, those are some examples from chapter one in the manners of reciting um, the Quran. And then chapter two, for example, is the manners of giving greetings of peace and how, and different manners around that, like in how to initiating the greeting of peace, how to give greetings of peace, how to respond to them, and so on. For example, if you are the one arriving, you should be the one initiating the greeting. And how it is sunnah to make one's greeting inclusive of everyone. So if you are meeting people and you know some of them but you don't know the others, you should be inclusive of everyone. Things like this, just beautiful manners that we learn from Islam and from sunnah and so on. So this book just covers different manners like that. The next one is this, Sahih al-Bukhari, and if you're on Instagram, you probably have seen me mention this one a lot. So what's nice about this one, this is a compilation of different hadiths, hadiths sahih, so authentic hadiths um, by Bukhari, collected by Bukhari. And this one, there is, are many volumes uh, to this. So for example, this one is volume two. I don't know if you can see this one is volume two. I have a collection of all the volumes over there. I'll probably show a clip of uh, all the volumes, but yeah, basically there's many volumes to this. I think about nine or ten. I, I don't remember the exact number, but you can also get a summarized one because there are some hadiths, for example, that are repeated, but the chains of transmission are different, but the hadith in terms of content um, is similar in content. So you can get a condensed version that um, only shows, for example, one of those hadiths. Instead of repeating them and showing you all the different chains of transmission for the same hadith, um, it's a condensed version. So it'll only show like one hadith 
and instead of showing all the repeated ones, if that makes sense. So you can get one book, it'll be like a thick um, book. If you don't want the whole, all the volumes and you want a condensed version, you can find a condensed version. And actually I'll link both below. I'll link the full volume and I'll link a condensed version as well. What's nice about this one is that it has both the English and Arabic side by side, so you can see examples of how the hadiths look. And it's kind of nice if you are looking for something that is kind of light reading, but not necessarily chapters, like you you don't have to read 20 pages to finish the chapter, for example, and you just want to commit to something light, it's nice because you can just go hadith by hadith. So you can say, okay, today I'm just going to read one hadith and then you're done. Does that make sense? It's not like reading a book where to get the complete meaning, you might need to finish a chapter or 10 pages or five pages of that topic. You can just read one hadith and you get the complete picture of that one hadith, if that makes sense. So if you're looking for something like that, that's more small reading that you can do in little pieces and little bits, I would say that this is a good... Um, book uh, to get. So this one, Don't Be Sad, La Tahsan. This is what the book looks like and I'll show you some parts of the inside. And it's basically different reminders uh, through Islamic teachings and so on to kind of bring comfort to you. So concepts of of contemplating things and being grateful for things, how to deal with criticism, how to remind yourself that today is all you have. So there's all kinds of concepts like that um, to remember Allah, to not lose hope in Allah's mercy, um, to learn to grieve certain things and how to grieve, how to deal with jealousy. So if you're interested, this book is full of that type of style and reminders and trying to bring comfort and trying to change your perspective on life, on moments, on difficult times and so on like that. So for example, this is like the fundamentals of happiness and some verses to reflect on. And also like reminders about like, you know, striving for sustenance, but also not being anxious over that sustenance. So striving and working for it, but also trusting and comforting yourself by knowing that Allah is the provider of sustenance. So to not bring anxiety and, and worries into it, but to have that trust and comfort as you strive for it. So things like that. I hope you, that gave you a good idea. Um, about the book. This is it. Next is this one, Etiquettes of Companionship. This one I'll show you is it has the English and Arabic in it. So so the first half of the book, this section is the English part and then the second half of the book is the Arabic part. So the Arabic you can see رسالة الأنوار في آداب الصحبة عند الأخيار. That's the Arabic version so then the english is translated from the arabic version so the book is kind of half half so it's not a big book it's it's both english and arabic so imagine like it's actually just half the size depending on which language you read and if you're bilingual in arabic and uh, english it's nice to have both uh, of them to see the original and to see the translation and so on and you can probably find just the arabic if you're looking just for arabic or just the english i think probably you can find if you just want one of um, the languages and basically, this one is, as it sounds, it's etiquettes of companionship. So dealing with others and how to deal with company in all kinds of ways from the sunnah and stuff. So what are, what are the rights of someone else over you? What are your rights? And so on. So it's just all kinds of different situations practical situations from sunnah to learn. For example, how to think good of others, how to conceal faults of others, what to do in a situation, for example, if people are invited somewhere, but maybe somebody joins who is not invited, and what are the rights of the homeowner, for example, if someone shows up uninvited, or things like this, like etiquettes of companionship and what the rights you have over others and what the rights other people have uh, over you. How to speak less over food, for example, how to not eat from the middle, and even, for example, like this is a nice section, like allowing others to repent. And basically it says that it is from among the rights of a person over another person that when he sees him doing something inappropriate, he should believe that he has repented since that time and is internally ashamed. So subhanAllah, imagine that, like just always thinking good of someone and also having the best assumption of people. You might have seen somebody commit a sin or something, but still think good of them and think that since the last time you saw them, think good of them and think that they have repented from that. 
all of these lessons in here I think are super important lessons in terms sorry the memory card got full so I had to change it but I was basically saying I just wanted to say that this book subhanallah if we treated each other the way that is mentioned in this book how we should treat each other us as a community of muslims brotherhood sisterhood all of us we would be such a beautiful community and it is so sad that we have just forgotten so many of these concepts and the way we treat each other i don't know just makes me sad nowadays seeing the way we treat each other especially now because we have social media and online platforms and you can hide behind the screen and nobody knows who you are and the way we treat each other and put other people down or call out other people's faults make bad assumptions of others you know this cancel culture and all, all of these things if we applied these principles of etiquette of companionship and how to treat others we would be such a beautiful community because a lot of the things we do we don't realize that we are making the situation worse and we are pushing people away instead of bringing them closer and and encouraging each other to make changes and to make differences and and embrace and be okay with you know each other having faults and making mistakes and as as this section says allowing others to repent giving them the space to be able to repent instead of shunning them and pushing them away and and just saying things that we just absolutely shouldn't shouldn't say anyways i think this this one is a book that we we all should embrace and learn from and and learn how to treat each other from so this is the this next one is stars in the prophet's orbit and this one covers 60 companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who were around the prophet sallallahu so they witnessed the birth of islam they how they became muslim backgrounds um about them and so on and so they are called stars in the prophet's orbit and this one is a beautiful book it goes through each companion there's 60 of them it goes through each of them a background about them their journey to islam different things about them different moments and stories um, about them and this is so beautiful and I took a course last semester with Rabat Academic uh, Institute and this was the book for the course it was a course about the companions of the Prophet and it was so beautiful and there were so many moments there were so many moments that I was just brought to tears with the stories of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. So this is a really nice book. If you like learning through other people and their experiences and their stories, and I think I've mentioned before that I really enjoyed that style of learning. Learning by seeing other people's lives and how they lived their lives and so on and, and stories about uh, their lives. I really enjoy that because I feel like it, it sticks more when you learn, I don't know, for me personally, it sticks more when I learn about other people and how they lived their life. It's just very encouraging uh, to see and inspiring to see. So if you're looking for something like that, I would recommend this one. If you're looking for just women in Islam, this is another one. Great women of Islam who were granted the news of paradise, I think it's called, who were given, who were given the good news of paradise. So if you're looking for specifically women, sisters, if you're interested in looking in just women, this book that I showed um, before is a mix of men and women. And if you're looking... Um, for a book about women this is uh, one suggestion and i think i'll stop here because i feel like this is becoming long so those are basically the books and if you're looking for some book stands this company sent me a couple of gifts and they included a discount code for all of you so i'll put that link below this is a stand for one book to read from it comfortably and this is a cute little bookcase stand to have multiple books on your desk to have an organized way of putting books 
on your desk without having a towering pile like is usually the case for me personally so yeah i'll leave a discount code below i hope you find benefit from these books let me know if there's one book that stood out to you or if there are other recommendations that you have in terms of books comment below inshallah so that we can all benefit and see you next time assalamu alaikum